Hey, hey, how we doing? Happy Monday. It's Chase here at Ever Bullish, kicking off the trading week, and it is Momentum Monday. Today's the 19th. Today is the 19th. Uh, today's the 19th of April, and the market is a bloodbath today. We're going to get to that here in a second. But first, that song was Money by Pink Floyd. Um, I was, I was going to do Wish You Were Here, and then I saw Money pop up, and then I thought, Money, I wish you were here. I thought that was kind of funny. So anyway, um, hope everybody's having a good morning. Let's get this thing kicked off. Check out Pink Floyd. If you haven't revisited them in a while. And um, so here's what we do on Mondays. Straight up. Every Monday, I pull up a screener that is proprietary, but is easily found on fidelity.com. Once I get a couple more followers, I'll tell you guys what it is. Um, but it has to do with uptrends and downtrends and very simple trading on a certain percentage of, um, of price movement and a certain percentage of volume. So I also add uh, an extra layer to that that involves RSI, but I can't give away my secrets too early. So um, here we are, what I do on Monday mornings to see what direction I feel like the market's going to go and determine how I'm gonna trade for the rest of the week as I take this. And, um, I screenshot this and I put this up on my website for you, but I, you know, I've been doing this for years and I, I typically did, did this for myself and do this for myself. And what I'll do is I take my iPad and I cross-reference it with the companies that are on my watch list. So if I see any companies on my walk, watch list breaking up, I'll go ahead and trade them um, or I'll add them to my ready list. I've mentioned before, I will mention again, I will mention in every Monday video, I prefer to trade at 9.40 a.m. Central Time, 10.40 a.m. Eastern Time uh, to place my day trades. Uh, the trades that are going to last between one and five days, typically same day, typically an option. But that's when I seem to get the best price, uh, best liquidity. Uh, and there was probably some subconscious superstition there, but uh, for me, I, I don't know. It just seems to work the best. And if it's working, I ain't going to quit it. So I'm going to pull up my Stockmaster app here just to show you guys what I'm doing. Hopefully give you some ideas. Today's a bloodbath. Stockmaster showing a lot of red. Um, and Mondays, we can't really take too seriously anyway, though. No, super low volume. But uh, things are stalling out right now in the market, and I'm going to use it as an opportunity. So I take the stocks that are on here. I cross-reference them with the stocks that are on here. I mentioned before I have this app on four different devices and it allows you three different screens of 50 stocks. So that's over a thousand stocks I can watch anytime. It has RSI, it has MACD, it's 100% free. It's the best resource that I can think of. Um, and that's what you should be using. So let's get uh, let's get down here. This is one of the reasons I say it's a bloodbath is on, on most days, if I check stocks that are down 3% on 15% volume on a Monday morning, uh, we might have between five and eight stocks. I have two full screens here. I see stocks that I recognize. Riot's on here. Uh, AutoZone is on here. ATOS is on here. Uh, VIH is on here. That's a stock that I trade. That is not good. I'm gonna have to figure out a way out of that one. Uh, Goldman Sachs is on here. Fisker is on here. Uh, Weight Watchers is on here. Uh, there's a lot of a lot of big time moving such that I'm actually going to go ahead and screen this for you while we're going live. I didn't expect to do this, but let's go ahead and just, just to make this make sense, I'm just going to uh, change it to down 5% on 15% higher volume in my custom RSI. All right, so that brings it down a little bit. Um, now I have six stocks, seven stocks, and one of them is still VIH, which is the stock uh, that I traded, which is a SPAC. So that's going to probably tell me to get out of it. If you're in it, get out of it. Um, Higher movements to the down on higher volume on a Monday, which is typically a low volume day, means that there's a lot of news um, or there's something uh, systemic going on. So I'm out. Um, on uptrending stocks, let's take a look and hopefully we can find some more uptrenders. Then downtrenders, but something tells me it's not going to happen. All right. What's up over 5% on 15 volume? Let's take a look. I'm going to take this time to take a sip of my coffee because Active Trader Pro does take a minute if you're on a Mac and you're streaming it. Uh, there are no stocks up 5% on 15% higher volume today. That is bearish. 
How many stocks are up 3% on 15% volume today? So going back to it, with Active Trader Pro, you get news on the right side. You probably saw that popping up. I'm in an account that doesn't have any of my positions in it uh, for demonstration purposes. But if I did, it would have um, it would have a heat map on the right side. I don't even work there anymore. I just love this this uh, this trading um, resource in this program. So and I highly recommend it for everybody else just because it's what I use. I'm trying to teach you. I want you to be able to, uh, roughly the same thing. So, all right. Well, this has never happened before. This is scaring me a bit. Um, but scared money don't make money. Here's the deal. There are zero uptrending stocks today uh, that are up 3% uh, on 15% higher volume. And there are two full pages of downtrending stocks today uh, that are down 3% on 15% higher volume. And it's Monday and it's low volume. So... What does that tell us? That tells us that the momentum is trash. Uh, the momentum is going in the wrong direction. And looking at it right now, uh, there are 25.7% of the stocks in the NYSE are advancing and 70% are declining. That is super bearish. That is gonna uh, give me an indication for the rest of my week on how I'm gonna trade. I'm a big a believer in buying the dip but i'm only going to do it on the things that i mentioned in my last video so check out my last video um i'm going to buy some lab U today and i'm probably going to buy some gbtc today with bitcoin's flash crash over the weekend which was very unexpected to me um i still uh, want to hold it long term sh short term and midterm and day term day, day trade it so um 9 40 tomorrow i'm going to go ahead and unleash those positions uh, I'm probably going to also go on EOG, check the last video on how to trade that. So, um, thanks a lot. I have a lot more to say, but I want to keep these things compressed. So we're at our seven minute mark, lucky number seven. It's a Monday. I'm Chase at Ever Bullish, the stock Sherpa on YouTube. Everbullish.com is where I will be posting the exact positions inside of these screeners. So the screener behind me, you can check and then cross-reference with your own positions. I do this for you for free. Consider buying a premium portfolio or buying me a hypothetical uh, cup of coffee to support the channel. Comments are appreciated. Subscriptions are appreciated. Free newsletter at everbullish.com and check out my podcast on the IV.FM podcast network, the best uh, podcatcher and podcast discovery network that there is. I'm out and let's get rich.